Hoffman, everyone. Nestor Lecanto here. Um, our guest uh, today is uh, Mr. Joey Duenas. He is the chairman of the Consolidated Commission on Utilities. And uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Hi. How are you, Nestor? Good to be with you. Doing good. How are you doing, sir? Good. Um, so uh, let me just ask you first to explain uh, what um, you, uh, the CCU deliberated on today regarding um, the uh, adjustment in the LIAC. Yes, we, today one of the resolutions that was approved by the CCU is an adjustment in the Levelized Energy Adjustment Clause, the LIAC. And it is a downward revision due to the um, fall in the oil prices that has occurred. So what we've done is reduce the LIAC that started on February 1st, which was a reduction from 15.4 cents, a little over 15 cents, down to 13 cents. And we're now proposing another reduction, beginning with meters read on and after April 1st to 11 cents for the LIAC portion. That would represent a, a reduction, um, Nestor, for, for, to make it simple for people, that would be a reduction from your January bill, if you're basing it on a thousand kilowatts usage, from your January bill, it would be about an 18% reduction over your total bill. Okay, but it's a no. Well, that's 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 fantastic. That, now there was there was already about an eight cent reduction, eight eight percent reduction between January's bill and February because we lowered the LIAC on February first. Remember, to thirteen, I think thirteen point four cents, and then this proposed lowering will go down to eleven cents. And that will bring us, that will start again on April 1st with meters read on and after April 1st. Okay, just, just to give a mathematical example, for example, if, you, if your average um, a bill per month is $200, that's $36 less you're going to pay um, come April 1st. Hold on a second. Let me get it for you. Okay. Yes, I, I just had to... Uh, I think I think we we gave you the the actual numbers of what a proposed uh, bill would look like. Did did you get that? Um, I haven't uh, I haven't checked. Um, you you probably did. Uh, you guys usually do, but I haven't checked that yet. But okay. just, just to clarify, I just want to give an example of what eighteen percent would would feel uh, yes. like. Um, how is it? Could you explain how is it that uh, GPA is uh, able to afford that at this time? Well, we're able to afford it because the projections no. that we have are going to take us uh, to this LIAC period ends on July 3rd, 12, 31st of 2020. It's a six-month LIAC period. Two months have gone by. We're proposing a, a decre further decrease for the next four months, April, May, June, and July. And based on what we are planning on buying on the fuel market to power our generators during this next four-month period, and what we project to be the prices that we'll have to pay for that oil, that allows us to drop the LIAC down to the 11 cents. The goal is at the end of July 31st, 2020, there will be a zero balance. In other words, we won't over recover, we won't under recover. We will have charged the ratepayers the right amount for the fuel. Now that's the ideal, that never happens. There's always some over recovery or under recovery. And it's basically been mostly under recovery for the benefit of the ratepayers. We've done this in the past and we continue to do it in the future. There might be an under recovery, we don't know, but we base our, our decisions based on GPA's management recommendation, which is based on data they get from Morgan Stanley and other uh, reviews that they look at. Yeah, can, can you comment? Can you comment on the impetus for, for this? I understand that uh, the commissioners wanted to, at this particular di difficult economic time, financial time, help out the rate payers? Well, uh, I'm glad you asked that question. There, there are two things I need to point out to you. First off, this, this uh, drop in oil price had nothing to do with the uh, current situation with COVID-19, okay? There, there are two events that happen, and they almost happen simultaneously. One was the COVID-19 crisis that we're going through, but then Saudi Arabia and Russia got in a fight and started a war on oil. 
So they're two separate events. One is not caused by the other. They're just two separate events. They just happen to have happen at the same time frame. So we're looking at this strictly from the LIAC portion and saying, because this has happened, we now are going to therefore go forward and adjust this. This is a midterm adjustment, which we want to make because it will benefit our rate payers and will help during this particularly crisis time that we're going to very challenging time. So we are trying to respond as fast as possible. Okay, and this still requires some approval by the Public Utility Commission. That's exactly right. And that's why it was important that we met today because we want to give this to them. Their meeting is on Thursday. We hope that at their meeting, they will adopt this. We've given them some heads up on what we're proposing. They're going to have to do their due diligence. They'll review our numbers. They'll review all the data we, that we looked at. And hopefully they agree with our number. We believe that they will. Okay. And and by making these uh, this uh, proposed adjustment to the LEAC, that's not going to um, hurt any ongoing projects, any uh, bond covenants, anything of that sort, no, correct? No, because this is strictly a reaction to the price of oil. The LEAC is the Levelized Energy Adjustment Clause. Its principal thing is to reflect to the customer the cost of the oil to provide his service during a six month period. And we call it levelized because we try to make it stable for the whole six month period so our rate payers can have a, a way of budgeting their, their daily budget, their monthly budget. They can say, this is what I can count on based on their consumption. Now, let's be car careful if, their if they increase their consumption, their, their bill could still go up. But that I'm saying if their consumption stays the same, they will, re they will realize a drop in their power bill. All right, um, Mr. Chairman, uh, any uh, last word for your, uh, your rate payers out there? Yes, I'd like to thank them for all their uh, good work for us, but I'd also like to make an observation. We, we uh, do such a good job, both at GPA and GWA, that nobody really realizes that, nobody thinks about us. And so I'd like to put a shout out to the good people, the management and staff of both GPA and GWA, because without them, think of it this way, especially GWA, we're all about increasing hygiene, right? Well, if you don't have water, there's no hygiene. And, but everybody takes that for granted because we provide service. We do such a good job of providing service to the community. Nobody gives us any thought, but we ju I'd just like to give a shout out to our people at GPA and GWA and thank them. And, and, you know, the other part is GPA and GWA, this is, we're part of one government system trying to serve our whole island. So we, we're doing a lot of different things. The managers are using their discretion in terms of uh, not disconnecting people right away. They're, they're trying to work with their customers. Um, we're also trying to work with our customers and trying to make it easier for them to pay us. And uh, I don't know if you heard, but recently GWA opened up that drive-through line that we used to have up at the GWA facility up in uh, by Public Works, by the building up by Public Works. And we've had a tremendous response because there are people, my generation, who like to pay and get a stamp receipt and pay in cash or pay by check. And so that is now in operation. And I heard the line was going around the building. So we want to make it as easy as possible for our people to pay. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Bye. All right. There you have it. Um, bye. Bye. bye, sir. T stay safe. <laughs> All right. There you have it, folks. Um, the Guam Power, the, the Consolidated Commission on Utilities, approving today a uh, 18% uh, drop in the uh, LEAC, which is the uh, fuel surcharge. So expect uh, an 18% drop in your uh, average bill come next month, uh, pending a Public Utilities Commission approval, of course. That'll do it for us, uh, Nestor Leconto reporting for KUAM News.